The Saints are fucking dog shit. They fooled all of you with that 2-0 start. They fooled all of you. They're not, they weren't a 2-0 team. I mean, they technically were, but this offense, I, I, I've been saying this since week one. This, this offense is, it's the same as last year. It's the same as last year. Yes, you can say Derek Carr, he wasn't expected to play today. He did play today. Respect to him, you know, for playing. But this offense is giving, it's so bad. I'm getting headaches watching the game. I'm literally, like, I can't, to everyone, like, and what's crazy is that this game, the issue wasn't even the offensive line. The offensive line wasn't particularly good at all. Don't get me wrong. But it wasn't like the single thing holding us back. Everyone was dog shit at some point or another. Derek Carr had moments when he was good. And like Chris Olave had a drive where he dropped a pass on second and 16. And then he dropped a touchdown on third down. Michael Thomas dropped a couple passes. The run game, Kamara had some moments in the run game. Kamara did all he could. He was getting receptions. He was trying to get yards. He was falling... He was falling forward for five yards on plays that should have gotten him negative yardage. But this team is so bad. I'm recording this with two minutes left in the game. It's 26 to 9. And it was close at one point. It was 17 to 9. Bucks ball with a chance to get a stop and get the ball back. But no. And now Jameis Winston's in the game just throwing up shit. Probably do better than he just threw a pick. Jameis Winston just came in and threw a pick. Okay. Well, y'all better not cook him in the comments for that because he literally just came in the game because the game was over. Um, the Saints suck. The defense was okay, but situationally, they're they're they're, they're terrible situationally. Um, the Baker, we let Baker Mayfield absolutely cook us, bro. Baker Mayfield was dotting us up. We got, and there was one point in the game. I think it was seven to three. We got a pick in the end zone from Isaac Yedem, which was a great play. Really got everyone back into the game, and then. Instead of calling it a touchback, since he caught it in the end zone, they called him down at the one-yard line. And then after that, we, we ran with the fullback on the one-yard line, and Adam Prentice fumbled, giving him the ball back 14-3. to The game was over just like that. And the offense can't score. They can't score. They're so bad. They're so bad. Pete Carmichael, you're a fucking idiot. Like, at the beginning of the game, we had a great drive. We're in the red zone, and you call a fucking... Like a double pass to fucking Kamara, and then it goes like minus ten yards. Like, what are you doing, bro? Like, like the the, the defense had moments in this game, but the offense can't score. They can't score. They're so bad. The offense is now fucking averaging less than fifteen points per game. They just scored nine points. Like, like what what are y'all doing? Like, how much fucking how much y'all invest? into the offense, whether it's the offensive line, the fucking quarterback, you paid $35 million a year to score nine points. To score nine points. It's unacceptable. Andy, I'm not saying Andy Dalton was better than Derek Carr. I will never defend Andy Dalton. But Andy Dalton's led offense was better than this. It was scoring more points than this. This is unbelievable, bro. And I, now we got to go into New England, who has a really good defense, and they're going to fucking shut us down, bro. I don't think we can. I don't know if we can fucking score a point against New England's defense. And New England's not even that good, but we're going to make them look good, bro, because we're not going to be able to score. It's at New England too. Now I don't know what you do about this. The offense is so bad, and it has so much potential to be good, and it's not. It's just so bad. It's probably among it's probably the top four worst offenses in the NFL right now. So I don't even there's no point even analyzing this game. This team is so bad. There's nothing else to even go over. I don't know. I was saying this when the Saints were two and zero. I don't think we were that good when we were two and zero. I don't think we were that good. I still don't think we're good. I, I haven't. We're mid. We're mid as fuck. We're exactly what I thought we were going into the year. And now we got to go at New England and then at Houston. Houston looks pretty good right now. They're down their entire offensive line, and yet they're still scoring. So, I mean, we got to focus on New England now. We're probably going to lose that game because we suck. I, I don't know. I don't know. Pete Carmichael has to go. There's no excuse for Pete, for, for Pete Carmichael to still be here. You should have fired him after 2022. But scoring a whopping 16, 20, 10, and then 9 points with Michael Thomas, Chris Olave, Rashid Shahid, Derek Carr, who you, played, you paid $35 million for, $35 million a year for. 
You have four first-round picks on the offensive line, or do you? You have Trevor Penning, who's a first-round pick. Eric McCoy's a second-round pick. Ruiz is the first-round pick. Ramchick's a first-round pick. So you have four players on the offensive line. Right, Andrews Pete's a first-round pick. You have four first-round picks and a second-round pick on the offensive line. You invest weight. And you have Alvin Kamara. You have Alvin Kamara, Taysom Hill. I don't I don't know. I don't know what you do from here. Now, this is my you know reaction from the game just after watching. I can go back and watch the film, and I can give you reasons why the Saints lost this game and what is the particular problem on the offense. But right now, it looks like a coaching issue because when, when everything is going wrong on the offense, it's not a one-person issue. Because Derek Carr wasn't even like horrible this game. Everyone was terrible. Everyone was terrible. So it's a coaching problem at that point. You have to look at the coaching. And we just we choked the game that game that could have given us a division lead. And now we're tied for second. The Falcons lost, thankfully. So they're two and two. I don't know if Carolina won or not, but it doesn't matter. We're tied with the Falcons right now. We got New England next week. Hopefully we can win that game. The offense hasn't we still haven't completed the score over 20 points challenge all season. And I have